Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Black. I'm Frenzy the Killbot, and I have Cletus and Swordfish with me. Hello. Hello. Uh, and this is video two, the Trinesca border crossing, just like the recon objective in the last mission said. Let's get to it. You were specifically told to hold, but you didn't. Why? Charlie team was down. I wasn't going to let this guy get away. The hallway and the first floor were clear. I heard movement above, I made my way up. And that's when I saw him. The fourth guy? Yeah, the fourth guy. The after action report you filed states he got the drop on you. But he doesn't fire. Why? He was American. Not Russian, not German, not Chechen. American. Interesting. And how do you know that? He spoke to me. And what did this American say to you? I can't remember. RPG hit the building, everything's blank after that. And your next assignment? Doubleheader. Destroy a seventh wave weapons cache and stronghold at Nazran. You were ordered to RV with a Lieutenant McCarver en route to the objective? Yes. Would have been a breeze if the maps and the intel on the border crossing wasn't at a date. Only thing right about it was the farm. This is Bravo 3, radio check, over. Okay. Yeah, this looks pretty good. Yeah, it's not too yeah. bad. Um, Did it does... they remaster this? I don't think or it's no. remastered, but um, this is the like digital re-release on the Xbox One. And I think it just doesn't uh, downscale the way the original probably did. All right, so we're supposed to be uh, meeting up with our commanding officer. Uh, this is the f sort of stealth mission of the game, um, which, of course, you know, the title Black for Black Ops. It wouldn't be a, a Black Ops type game without some silencers and sneaking around. So this is Goldeneye. It, yeah, that it, it is Goldeneye. Um, what are you this, doing? <laughs> I'm waiting. Shoot them. I'm waiting. Uh, this game does actually have stealth mechanics. They're just kind of confusing and unpredictable. I played the start of this mission like 20 or 30 times just trying to get this part to go stealthy. It, it's very difficult to tell why they detect you because it's not always line of sight and it's it's just kind of it's kind of weird. Uh, but if you're careful you can actually stealth through quite a bit of this mission and i'm gonna give that a shot because why not mm -hmm. you're not even close to the world record by the way okay if you're, if you're going for it <laughs> what about the world record all stealth run um, yeah zero zero kill run yeah zero kill run that'd be wild um this game also has um Suppressors you can find in the levels and then uh, attach to your guns um, That one right there is probably the most hidden one in the entire game They're almost always put right in your path like in doorways and stuff The game wants you to have them basically mm -hmm. How convenient Yep um, Suppressors are you know standard video game suppressors in that they're quiet, but they reduce damage so if you're actually shooting the crap out of people, you probably don't want them. You know it's like a, a gun game when they don't call them silencers. Yeah, that's right. This is a real, a realistic game. Mm. <laughs> I can't say yeah. that with a straight face. That's, that's an easy shot to make. <laughs> One-handed. <laughs> yeah, with a Glock. <laughs> Are they wearing helmets too? Uh, uh, they are. They don't do anything. Um, like it's just part of the weapon model. Uh, headshots tend to be one-hit kills. I think possibly always. That it can be hard to tell. Oh, 
Is there a suppressor for the spaz? Uh, no. So, like, the a couple of the assault rifles have specific suppressors. There's, like, a SMG class suppressor you can find, and then that one pistol has one. They're, I, me, me saying that makes it sound like they're common. They're not really common. Um, mm -hmm. Just on this one map where they want to showcase stealth. Well, there, there's a couple maps that have them. They're like f almost forced stealth sections, except there's no failure. Like, I just... Yeah. That guy saw me, but it doesn't really matter. Um, and like I said, it, it it's hard to tell how the stealth mechanics work, because a whole bunch of these guys come running in this area because they heard noise, like I lost stealth, but then you cross some invisible boundary to the next area and suddenly nobody knows you're there again. Must have been the wind. Yeah. Like, there are times where you can be throwing grenades and then you go to the next room and you're still in stealth. Like, it just, it kind of doesn't... <laughs> but it's hard to know when that's going to happen. It's not obvious. Mm -hmm. Two one, this is three, nothing heard. Proceeding to top out over. These kinds of levels, like uh like the one in Goldeneye was like the reason why I wanted it so bad. With that weird sniper with like the bowl oh, on top or whatever. Uh are you talking about like the Siberia level or whatever? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I remember that one. It's funny, if you go back to old games now, like that that level that you're talking about, I remember, because it yeah. always confused me. Like, where where am I going? Where am I supposed to be going? Like, it seemed like it was this big, complicated level. Mm -hmm. But if you go back to it today, sort of like as an adult, the level is so small. Like it and linear. It it's not linear. Like it is sort of an open area, relative to other levels. But like it's just it's really not very big. And I don't know why. It just kind of seems like. At the time, it just seemed big. Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen that? Uh, there's a GIF I saw on the internet somewhere with like level sizes in video games for how big they oh, are. Oh yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. And like Arma is yeah. Yeah, Arma's I, big. Like the GTA Skyrim. games are big. Skyrim's big, but then there's there's stuff yeah. like more or uh, Elder Scrolls Two is like this ridiculous gigantic map. <laughs> But I think mm -hmm. it was like almost entirely procedurally generated, so I don't know. It's just wild when you see, uh, like, Mario 64 is another one. If you go back and play that game now, you just get... You can sort of have a better perspective on just how small the levels are. Yeah, you know, I never played that one growing up. I feel like that's something I missed out on. Yeah. I didn't get a th uh, an N64 until, like, basically the Dreamcast was out. Right. And I, then the Dreamcast was the pinnacle, so why would you even play? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I stopped. I just only play Dreamcast. God's one true console. Yeah. There's a screen in the controller. It was so cool. Yeah, that was wild. And you could put like your pets on it from Sonic. and Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Little, Truly little Tamagotchi time. type thing. Man. I remember the Wii U then came out with that and they hailed it as the, the big thing. Filthy liars. Yeah. So where are we? Like Eastern <laughs> uh, Europe uh, somewhere? Uh -huh. Yeah, like as best as I can tell, it's some sort of ex-Soviet state. Um, it's kind of like a lot of video games. It's just kind of like fake Russia. Uh. Um, the one thing I do want to point out, especially about this level... Um, like I said in the first video, that they really wanted this to sort of be like like playing an action movie with big firefights and explosions. Um, they actually, they planned out interesting environments and encounters, and the story was built around it later. Like, the story in this game <laughs> is a complete afterthought, and it makes no sense. Um, so this level is a border crossing. We are, like, well, technically sneaking across the border. <laughs> uh, sneaking, yeah. But, um, sort of the fact that 
this is supposed to be like two separate countries just doesn't actually play into it at all. <laughs> like the guys on both sides of the border are wearing the same uniforms and also are terrorists. Like it just, it doesn't make any sense. They're terrorist communists. <laughs> yeah, it's just, okay. they're just guys for you to shoot at. It's like GoldenEye games or like old GoldenEye style games where it's just, you know, an unlimited number of faceless henchmen. Just playing out the male fantasy. Yeah, pretty much. Maybe, I mean, yeah. the levels look cool. Huh? Like, I like how, like, the building designs and, and, uh, like, I get the layout of this map is pretty cool. Yeah, like, the environmental mm -hmm. design is really good. Yeah, and you blew up a little of that banister there. Yeah, no, the, the environmental damage is actually, is very good. Um, it gets better, there's some later levels where you're, like, chipping the sides of pillars off and like stuff's falling apart all around you like it is it is really well done but that's why especially I call it because you keep missing the enemies yeah, yeah. so yeah. you're doing a lot of damage <laughs> as you get like a beautiful double there yeah well that I mean I'm I think I am shooting more carefully than you're really meant to like I don't know if you've been looking at sort of the UI here but like, this AK-47 has a 60 round magazine with 500 bullets in reserve. Like, you are just supposed to be leaning on the trigger. Hey, those blow up too. Everything hey. blows up. <laughs> oh right, so, action movie. So you have health packs too? Are those, yep. do you activate them? Or? Yep, old okay. style um, health system. You actually have a health bar. Um, there are pickups, so like, bad guys will drop um, health packs that just work when you pick them up, but you can also pick up bigger health kits that you then decide to use. I guess just dodging everything. <laughs> Neo over yeah, here. It's, it's interesting. So I know that there's weapon bloom, but it's not showing it, so no. it's hard to... Yeah. Yeah, and I mean, again, it's an older game. It doesn't have as good, yeah. um, what would you call it? Like, feedback for whether you're hitting the guy or not? Like, a lot of new like games. Those little, have, like, uh, hit markers or. Yeah. Call of Duty. Like a has sound. Like the, yeah. yeah, exactly. Um, it doesn't quite have those. I think it does have it a little bit. But, uh, yeah, not as much as newer games have. Or custom animations for hitting bad guys. It's just, yeah, it's an older game. We're probably going to be Korea saying that a lot. Nuclear plants. Wow, they call the North Korean uh, Jesus. Look at that. It's a slow freaking <laughs> <laughs> rocket propelled grenade. Yeah. Yeah, a couple of the uh, intel and objectives in this level don't make a whole lot of sense. Like, um,. The North Korean nuclear plans was a blackmail objective, which is kind of like, it doesn't fit the theme that I was just talking about last video, but they're just generic intelligence yeah. things. Or that last one we picked up was like photos of in the LA airport. LA. Yeah. yeah, which is like, yeah, you know, bad guys might want to have that, but it's whatever. <laughs> That's the last place I'd want to watch. <laughs> Freaking it's... LAX, you know? <laughs> I, I've never been there. There's no water fountains anywhere. I... Oh. It drives me crazy. Oh yeah, that's a bad airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For our uh, longtime viewers, I've now moved to the Bay Area, so... I'm gonna start talking about those things. Yeah. No. Like, hey, uh, better than San Jose, am I right? <laughs> <laughs> I I don't know. Yeah, I, I don't really either. I just really moved here. So. Yeah. So, do you have like strong feelings about your new area? That it's the best. 
Uh, no. Oh. <laughs> Although I have gone hyphy a few times and, uh, you know, Bay Area stuff. Yeah. That's good. I don't tend to explore... Traffic? Oh, sorry. I was going to say, like, the one year I didn't live in the city we grew up in, I didn't really explore much. Yeah. I stayed in my apartment the whole time. Yeah, that's what I'm finding. It's, I think every place is boring if you don't leave. That's true. Yes. <laughs> and most places there is actually interesting stuff to go see and do if you just go do it. Yeah, yeah. Why aren't you using any of those health packs? It's stressing me. Um, Throw more grenades. It's a good question. I really should be using the health packs because I'm full up. Might as well use them. Stealthy. <laughs> <laughs> I never really got the hang of uh, shooting in this game sometimes. Like, I think you have to lead a little bit, but not very much. No bullet drop? I don't think there's... I don't... Like I said, it's... There might be a little bullet drop and a little bit of lead time, and it just... Even practicing a whole bunch for recording this LP, I just, like, never really got the hang of it. Mm -hmm. uh, just a note there, Camp X-Ray in that Intel objective, um, or blackmail, I guess it was. Uh, that was a real camp in Guantanamo Bay where they would bring people to uh, interrogate. Uh, it, hmm. has, it has been closed down. Quote, unquote. Uh, yes, quote, unquote. <laughs> um, okay. I think there was this whole big sort of expose about Camp X-Ray, and then it got shut down, basically. Yeah. But real thing. Hmm. Uh, here is here this level's go. hidden weapon. Now. Checking the yard, over. Oh, yeah, the... There's, um certain weapons that are restricted on the world record runs. Oh, really? I think the grenade... The s silver weapons are allowed, but not the silver grenade launcher, I think. That I don't know. That doesn't make any damn sense. Um, yeah, there's... Just since you brought it up, when you beat the game on normal, you unlock silver weapons, and that just means every weapon you pick up is now silver and has unlimited ammo, I think. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of weird that those would be allowed. Although, uh, here's the fun thing I found out. Um, as soon as you beat the last level and the credit sequence starts, it unlocks silver weapons, and there is no way to turn them off and no way to back out of it. So, Oh, maybe that's why they do it. It's right. Because It'd be hard not to. Uh, yeah. When I was doing my first practice run for the last level of the game, I beat the game and I said okay cool and I like made a couple notes and then I went to play it again to record and silver weapons unlocked no way to get rid of them Did so I to play through I had the entire thing again yeah I had to delete all my save files and play through <laughs> the whole game again to get back oh to the last God. level <laughs> all right that's dumb that's some very funny yeah. stuff one of the James Bond games I LP'd actually had the same thing where like as soon as you picked up the collectibles that was it. There's no way to get it to come back, so like, if I started recording and I was picking things up and then I screwed up and wanted to start over, I had to go and play through the whole game from the beginning to get back to the level. <laughs> Brutal. Holy moly. Yeah, it is amazing how much spare time I used to have. <clears throat> I don't know where it all went. Maybe, yeah. uh... Adulthood. Yeah. Yeah. So when you reload, it, it blurs the entire screen, eh? Yes. Yeah, it's like a yeah. depth of field effect. It's very yeah, cool. Yeah, I thought it was just, like, loading. <laughs> well, I mean, the other thing, yeah. I, I did a little bit of reading about some of the, like, stuff they did for this game, and, like, apparently it's fake depth of field. Like, it, uh... They do some trickery. Like, a lot of the stuff, a lot of the cool stuff they do in this game is, like, really neat solutions to these problems so it's not real depth of field because that would require the graphics engine like calculating distances and then applying a blur filter so it does something different but i i, I couldn't grasp the details hmm.
Well, you have five grenades now, so I implore you to use them. <laughs> nope, stealth section. God damn it. Don't worry, it doesn't last long. So this single long. shot, this, this like switching from single to automatic to burst, yeah. that must have been kind of a new feature. I, think, um, at the time. I don't know, like it, it's kind of similar to what Perfect Dark had, where there's like two weapon modes. Um, yeah, that, like that's the first game I can think of that had it. Actually, the world is not enough yeah. had it too. I think. Count, yeah, Counter Strike Glock had. Uh, yeah, that's right. It did. But yeah, it wasn't common. No, I mean most. Uh, I think most games like Perfect Dark had it this way, where it was just a toggle. Like you could essentially toggle between two modes, one or two. Uh, this yeah. game does have like multiple. Um, firing rate options, and then also apply the silencer or don't if you have it available. So it's a little bit more complicated. Do you guys remember Duke controllers? This thing's oh awful. my god. Yeah. Save it for the, the Halo LP. And, <laughs> the black and white button? Man. <laughs> oh, classic. Oh, uh, the Duke. What was it? Flashlight and switch grenade type on yeah. Halo. That's right. That's like I, when you're talking about switching fire types i always like think of those buttons because i basically feel like that's what they were for and it might have been those buttons on the original xbox version now that you mention it i don't remember oh yeah, uh, like i sorry new enemy type uh these are shotgun guys i don't know if there's a better name for them but uh they are heavily armored they have shotguns and they just rush at you I'm going to call him Jeez. Jason moving forward. Yeah, it does. Yeah. That's exactly what I was thinking. <laughs> they also have the mask. The mask can actually be shot off. And the other thing that's kind of cool that I don't know if any other games of the time were doing is that the mask actually does only protect the front of their face. If you can get them from behind, uh, just a one-hit headshot will work. Ooh, his mask fell off. I see. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Okay, when you reload this, it doesn't fill up the ammo bar, and that drives me crazy. Is it because you're canceling the reload? Nope. Oh, uh, it's just the max clip size is six, and they just didn't adjust that. Well, I mean, it would have been mm -hmm. it would have been weird if they adjusted it because then each bullet would look like three or four. Thick. Yeah, like the the UI is a little weird sometimes. Although, to be yeah, honest like, with you... Usually it would show, like, six shells instead of, like, a chain of bullets, right? right? But it's just so. applying it. Actually, it's interesting that you say that now that I'm thinking about it. Because, yeah, it's 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 more or less a bar that just is se that has, is sectioned off. Except then each bar, each section can also be one, as opposed to just one over 15 or whatever is up there. Yeah, the clip. Yeah. It is weird, but I gotta tell you, I never, ever, ever looked at the ammo indicator while playing this game because they give you more than enough ammunition. What's the weight of 500 bullets? A lot. Yeah, fair bet. Yeah. You can look that up. <laughs> hey, Google. <laughs> Are you really gonna ask it how much bullets weigh? I could. That would be weird. You're going to be on a list if you do that. Yeah, probably. I just Google it. I mean, that's effectively the same thing. It's it's the glorious techno future of 2019. You're supposed to talk to computers to get them to Google things. You know, I really don't like those features. Like, I don't think I'll ever need... I, I, I actually it's bought, only when I... I bought a Google Home... Uh, speaker. Yeah. I don't use it for anything really except setting timers for my laundry and sometimes playing Spotify, but... Hell yeah. Play music while you clean. While Ask I clean. Ask questions. Ha. Yeah, while I clean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that makes me sound bad. Well. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it does. It, it's true. I'm a messy, <laughs> I'm a messy boy. Dirty boy. Oh yeah, there you go. <laughs> oh my god, what are you doing here? I don't know. Hey, grenade. I really don't like the blur that you get when you reload. You don't like it? I know it? it's supposed to be a cool feature, but yeah. Hmm. I like it. I like it a lot. Well, let's agree to disagree then. Okay. No, I refuse. <laughs>
Okay, I'm leaving. Bye. <laughs> farmhouse now. I say again, farmhouse now. RV is empty. What is your situation? This is two one. You are to sweep and clear the area for intel. We'll contact you in figures two zero out. So we finally make contact. Um, just something I want to point out here. Uh, this game does not have subtitles. I actually transcribed all the dialogue myself. Um, Are you fucking with me right now? <laughs> no, no, I really did that. Uh, it took a you while, did. and it was annoying because, like, well, the reason I wanted to do it is the same reason it was annoying. Is that a lot of what they say is like military jargon and uh, acronyms, and then it's like obscured by radio static and stuff. And it half the time it's very difficult to tell what they're trying to say. <laughs> Okay. And for all you viewers Not out there, having... please call them out on every spelling error. Yep. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I'm going to no, be I gotta, getting so much attention. I got to tell you, I think I did pretty good. There is one place, I think, where I just have a question mark because it was like, I have no idea what they're saying. And that's with, like, I went back and recorded with no gunfire. I, like, opened up the audio file in Audacity and got rid of the noise and, like, <laughs> anyway, like, I did so much work <laughs> trying to figure out what word they were trying to say and just gave up. I don't remember where it is though. We'll have to we'll have to wait for it. Yeah, you know that that makes me think of how more much more accessible games are now. Yeah, it's like, true. Well, actually, they're it, like colorblind modes now, which I think is going too far. I mean, if well, I think the want, thing is they solve prob like some game company solves the problem of what do you do for colorblind blind players, and then everyone else just kind of like uses their solution. You know what I mean? I just think it's a market that's not necessary. You know. Mm. I guess. But like, I think colorblind people, you know, they're they're mutants. They don't. Uh, oh my god! Awesome to the what? Uh. Um, I mean, but you never want to cut people out of playing your game just yeah. because they can't I know, see like I'm a health bar. I know, um, but it's true. We, um, recently, they re-released all the Spyro games. I think it was Spyro, and they kind of got a whole bunch of flack because they don't have subtitles, and it's kind of like, you know, when those games were released, people didn't care as much. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And they do now, so like even though they were re-releasing a game that didn't have them originally, people were like, well, you should have put them in. And I, it's true, when I started playing this game and it didn't have subtitles, I was kind of pissed. I like subtitles. Yeah. It's a strong tractor. Yeah, we have a... Um, I used to work with a guy who was colorblind, and like we'd roast him... <laughs> like constantly because uh, we'd have daily. all these graphs at work and oh, we'd be like God. what does the what's the green line mean and we'd be like what green line <laughs> <laughs> my dad's colorblind uh, and we tease him a lot so yeah it's it's like one of those mild things you know like he, yeah. he was always he was a good sport so yeah. like we were all friends everyone probably but, does it to him so like yeah i think one of my coworkers was colorblind just because they they would always switch um like in Excel spreadsheets that our whole team used, they would switch to a different color palette. But they never said anything, mm -hmm. so I don't know if they were or not, or if they just liked, you know, that different color scheme better. Keeping it on the DL. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Holy. What the fuck was in that? I mean, those silos are notorious for blowing up, so... Like, it's <laughs> true that, uh, like, grain silos can can explode if there's too much particulate in the air. Yeah. But Dust explosions. I don't think shooting at them with a rifle would make them go up. I don't know. What if it caused a spark from hitting the stone? Yeah, but I just mean, like, I think the contents have to be fairly agitated first. Yeah, dust explosion. Yeah. Yeah, you threw grenades out that window, Frenzy. Well, not in the silo. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, it's enough to shake it up. Yeah, maybe. Nice. It works, that man. That was sick. <laughs> oh, and you did a... Wait, cleared out building. Yeah, our objective is to clear all these buildings around the farm. By ourselves. Oh, you have six grenades, so... It's almost starting to feel, like, tedious. What, the shooting? <laughs> well, it's like, to go through, like, every building and every zone for this level. Yeah, it's not that bad. It's like five buildings that are all very close together.
But is this this is still the second level though, yeah? Yeah, this is still the second level. This slide down the, the stairs. Yeah, there's some interesting physics things sometimes. <laughs> you did not see it. That was a good one. I right. am Are you guys ready going for this? I'm paying so much attention to the subtitles now. It's so distracting. Now that you told me that. Kobe. Oops. Hey. I did it. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's cool that you can do stuff like that. Like it's it is actually a hole in the ceiling. It's not just a transparent texture. Hey, I got an idea. You should transcribe what we say too when mm. before you upload it. Yeah, no. Yeah. What do you think Excellent of that? Excellent idea. Yeah, I'm <laughs> going to pass on hard. that. I told them to put it up on fiber. Ooh, yeah. To be fair, nothing we say is interesting, and deaf viewers are probably having a much better time. I'm watching other videos. <laughs> well, that too. <laughs> anyway, right. yeah, that's the end of that one. You've done it. Yeah. So next time okay. we'll actually have a squad mate because uh, oh, oh you, you, I missed one. I feel like this is like <sighs> tell your team what happened here. That's wild. I know exactly you know, which one, one you missed. Go. There was a dude in the woods that you walked right past. Yeah, probably. Although it's kind of weird because mm. some levels have like infinitely respawning guys, so there's some minimum enemy count, which I guess is 120. If I had just done a little <laughs> bit more effort shooting bad guys. Yeah. Oh yeah, well. Yeah, let's redo this video. No, not happening. <laughs> <Let me do. laughs> Whatever. See you guys next time. Bye. Bye. Bye.